So with the interface ready, let's go to Solution Explorer and in Services I'm going to add another class and this time I'll call it Event Repository. Of course the interface has the I in front of Event, this one has just Event Repository. Now we want this class to implement the interface, so let's do that. We will implement I Event Repository. And of course now it will complain because it will need all the methods implementations. So I'll simply click implement interface. And here are our method stubs. All of them just simply throw not implemented exception. But we don't have to type the signature for these methods. So our class now implements the iEvent repository interface. But we also need to bring in the context. The DB context is what we will be using in order to actually interact with the database. So let's create a variable and it can be private and read only because we only want to set it once. And it's of the type event context. And I'll call it underscore event context. Now of course we need to bring in the namespace which is the comedy events dot context. And there's one more interface I want to bring here and that's the iLogger interface because it is very common for the APIs to create a log information for each request that is going to be processed. So if there are any errors you can look at your log and see what went wrong and trace down the error. So I'm going to create another private read only and it's going to be the iLogger. And we want the logger for the event repository. So we want this logger to log everything that's going on in this class. So every call that is being made through these methods will be logged. And I'll call it underscore logger. And again, I need to bring the iLogger from the Microsoft.extensions.login. So now we have the read only variables which we need to set in our constructor. So let's create a constructor and we will pass in the event context which I will simply call event context without the underscore and we pass the iLogger interface as well. And this again will be for the event repository class that we are creating right now. And I'll call this one logger. And then in the constructor I will simply assign the values from the constructor to our read-only variables. So our event context will equal event context and our underscore logger will equal the logger from the argument in the constructor. And now we are ready to start implementing these methods.